Have you ever wondered why some people seem to be sweating buckets even when it's not hot or they are not working out? Well, today we'll talk about hyperhidrosis, a condition where excessive sweating can literally disrupt your daily life. So stick around to uncover the signs, causes and treatments for hyperhidrosis that you probably didn't know about. But first, hit that subscribe button and join our community for more uh, intriguing insights into health and wellness. Now, let's jump into the sweaty details. Hyperhidrosis is when you sweat a lot, even when it's not hot or you are not exercising. It can be so much that it goes through your clothes or drips from your hands. This heavy sweating can mess up your day and make you feel anxious or embarrassed around others. Treating hyperhidrosis usually starts with using antiperspirants. If those don't work, your doctor might recommend trying various medications or therapies. In most serious situations, surgery could be suggested by your healthcare provider to either remove sweat glands or disconnect the nerves causing excessive sweating. The main sign of hyperhidrosis is sweating a lot, more than usual uh, in hot weather, during exercise or when you are anxious. This kind of hyperhidrosis, which typically impacts hands, feet, underarms or face, leads to at least one instance each week when you are awake. The sweating typically occurs on both sides of the body. Sometimes excessive sweating is a sign of a serious condition. It's important to see a doctor if, one, you have a lot of sweating along with dizziness, chest pain, or cold skin, or and, uh, a fast heartbeat. You should get help right away. Two is sweating messes up your daily life. Three is sweating makes you uh, feel really upset or makes you avoid being around people. Number four is you start sweating a lot uh, suddenly. And five, you have night sweats without any clear reason. Sweating helps your body cool down and your nervous system makes your sweat glands activate when you get too warm. Nervousness can also make you sweat, especially in your palms. In primary hyperhidrosis, there are miscommunication signals in the nerves, causing sweat glands to work too much. This often uh, happens in the palms, soles, underarms, and occasionally at uh, the face. This kind of hyperhidrosis doesn't have a medical reason. It can be something that runs in the family. Secondary hyperhidrosis happens because of an underlying health issue or certain medicines like pain relievers, antidepressants, and specific diabetes or hormonal drugs. It can lead to sweating all over the body. Conditions like diabetes, menopause, hot flashes, thyroid problems, certain cancers, nervous system disorders, or infections can cause this type of hyperhidrosis. Complications of hyperhidrosis include uh, one is infections. Excessive sweating increases the risk of skin infections. Number two, we have social and emotional impacts. Dealing with sweaty hands and soaked clothes can be embarrassing. It might also affect your ability to achieve your work and educational objectives. To treat hyperhidrosis, addressing the underlying cause is the initial approach. If no specific cause is identified, the focus shifts to managing excessive sweating. If adopting new self-care practices doesn't help, your healthcare provider might recommend uh, various treatments. So it's important to note that even if your sweating improves with treatment, it could come back. Medications for hyperhidrosis include prescription antiperspirant, your healthcare provider might recommend an antiperspirant containing aluminum chloride. You should apply it to dry skin before bedtime 
wash it off in the morning and once you see improvement, use it less frequently to maintain the effect. Be cautious about skin and eye irritation and discuss with your healthcare provider how to minimize side effects. Prescription creams and wipes can be used for hyperhidrosis treatment. Creams may be helpful for excessive sweating on the face and head. Potential side effects include mild skin irritation and dry mouth. Certain oral medications like nerve blocking pills can inhibit the nerves responsible for activating sweat glands, leading to uh, decreased sweating in some individuals. Potential side effects may include dry mouth, blood vision, and issues with the bladder. Certain depression medications can reduce sweating and may also have a positive effect on lowering anxiety. There are toxin injections that can be used. Toxin injections like uh, Botox can be used to treat hyperhidrosis by blocking uh, the nerve that activates sweat glands. The procedure is usually not very painful, but you might choose to have your skin numbed beforehand. Various methods like topical anesthesia, eyes, and massage, uh, which is vibration anesthesia, can be used uh, for numbing. Your healthcare provider might recommend alternative treatments like iontophoresis. This at-home therapy involves soaking your hands or feet in water while a device applies a mild electric current, blocking the nerves that cause sweating. For people experiencing excessive sweating, specifically in the armpits, healthcare providers may propose removing the sweat glands. This can be done through methods like scrapping them away, that is curatage, uh, sanctioning them, that is liposuction, or a combination of both, that is suction curatage. Nerve surgery, known as sympathectomy, uh, involves removing a small part of the spinal nerves that regulate hand sweating. However, a potential side effect is lasting excessive sweating in other body areas called uh, compensatory sweating. This surgery is typically not suitable for isolated head and neck sweating. A modified version treats the palms by interrupting nerve signals without removing the sympathetic nerve, reducing the risk of compensatory uh, sweating. Due to the risks and potential complications associated with nerve surgery, it is usually considered only when other treatments have been tried without success. These procedures can be performed with general anesthesia or local anesthesia and sedation. As we wrap up this exploration into hyperhidrosis, whether you are considering treatments are curious about the science behind it or just seeking understanding, your journey matters. If you have found this information helpful, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more uh, content on health and wellness. Until next time, stay cool, stay informed, and stay tuned.